The improved package has arrived. We're having it fitted in time for FP1. Have a look at the factory report. Evening race fans, the clock is ticking down to the start of today's practice session here at the Marina Bay Street Circuit. Quick look at the classification at the end of the session then. Here are your top three. Verstappen, Raikkonen and Nico Rosberg. Practice times are on the board then, but no points are on offer just yet. We'll be back with more F1 action soon. on your qualifying goals for this weekend. It's late in the evening here in Singapore and it's time for qualifying, so settle down and enjoy the action. This is the kind of track that eats rear tyres for breakfast, or so I'm told by more experienced drivers than myself. No matter how good a driver is at managing their throttle application to limit rear slip, 
They can't always overcome a car that's inherently bad at looking after its rear tires. Here we have a lot of low-speed corner exits, which means a whole load of energy, heat and tire wear. should remain dry. We will keep you informed of any changes to the weather. That's P2. You're currently in second place. As we wind down from the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Vettel, Raikkonen and Nico Rosberg. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. I've seen the team's expectations for the race, so I thought I'd pass them on and wish you luck. Take care. Hello and welcome one and all to the shining streets of Singapore. Can you believe we've been coming here for nearly a decade now? It feels like only yesterday that Felipe Massa was dragging his fuel hose down the pit lane in that eventful opening race. And in a Grand Prix one from pole position more often than not, will we see a new victor crowned today? Situated just 88 miles north of the equator, this three and a half mile circuit is hot, it's humid, and is an incredible test for the drivers as they try to fight their cars around the bumps and in between the barriers. 23 corners take us twice over the bay to complete a single lap of this unique racetrack. The view is spectacular, the heat is unbearable. The race should be incredible. Anthony Davidson is alongside me in the commentary box this evening and big race this one, a real test of endurance. Sounds right up your alley. Wouldn't you just love to be down there on the grid right now? You know what, Crofty? I'm pretty happy to be up here in my air conditioning, thank you, right now. I can't stress just how difficult these conditions can be, especially when you consider it's the longest race on the calendar in terms of time. It's also one of those races where you have to remember to keep drinking, or there's a real risk of dehydration, just like we saw with young Kevin Magnussen a couple of years ago, don't forget. We mentioned the bumps as well. Take a look at the onboards if you get a chance during this race. The movement in the suspension and the chassis is just incredible. And it's lots of hard work to wrestle the car around the lap here. 
So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Kimi Raikkonen's perfect lap yesterday sees him start from pole position with Nico Rosberg alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Grosjean and a Haas, Daniel Ricciardo and Vettel, Hamilton, Verstappen, Massa and Fernando Alonso, Sainz, Bottas, Daniel Kvyat and Button, Perez, Hülkenberg, Pascal Wehrlein, and Jolian Palmer, Magnussen, and Harry Anto, Felipe Nasser, and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track.
effort there from Ferrari to take the victory today. And I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what set them apart from the competition here? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. And as we can see, it's time for the podium. And as the drivers make their way out, there's a familiar red suit making its way to the top step. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Well, the lead at the top has come down after a poor result for our points leader. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Well, I have to give it to Lewis Hamilton. You know, it was just the kind of drive you'd expect from a multiple world champion. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. It was great having you with us for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Until next time, though, goodbye.